Welcome to our new video. Both Fedora and Ubuntu have seen new additions recently, with the Red Hat-backed distro having version 38, while the canonical sponsored distribution released version 23.04 at the time of recording this video. We've been playing with those two operating systems in virtual machines these days, and we've been pleased with their improved level of consistency, functionality and polish. Here's our quick view. New Fedora 38 brings in version 44 of the GNOME desktop environment and comes with 6.2 kernel. As you may know, Fedora offers GNOME as it is. So, with the new GNOME 44 version, you'll get further improvements and some new features. The quick menu now looks even more professional and makes things more accessible, like switching between the light and dark desktop styles or the access to the full power off menu. Now your settings app is also easily available via the quick menu. The new Fedora version, as usual, offers a new set of wallpapers, continuing with the trend of offering light and dark variants for the light and dark desktop styles, respectively. In the new version, Fedora offers full access to the FlatHub software platform, meaning now you can get modern and sandboxed self-updating apps. Now, you don't have to be a nerd to enable some important third-party repositories in Fedora. It's just one slide away. Speaking of the apps in Fedora, it's so easy to find and install any application, as we did here with Shotcut, a very popular free and open-source video editor. It's offered as a Flatpak app from the Flathub repository meaning now even novice users could easily install apps without going through the hoops of enabling the full FlatHub access via terminal. Another great feature of Fedora is that updates are handled within the GNOME software app, so you don't have to deal with the updates through a different application. In other words, everything is in one place. The default Fedora install is packed with pre-installed applications, sufficient to get you started from the get-go. All the apps are their latest versions. For example, LibreOffice is version 7.5.2.2, meaning the latest one by the time of recording the video. Speaking of the LibreOffice suite, Fedora doesn't come with the proprietary MS Core fonts, but it's easy to install metric-compatible fonts, alternatives to the popular fonts, like we did here with the Tynos font, which is the alternative to Times New Roman. All in all, Fedora is a modern, cohesive and fully functional Linux-based operating system that, this time around, we would recommend to both seasoned veterans and new to Linux users alike. Well done! GNOME 44 is one of the main features of the new Ubuntu 23.04 release, which, unlike long-term support releases, will be supported for 9 months. Ubuntu offers a modified, custom version of GNOME, with its iconic quick-launch panel on the left-hand side of the screen. Ubuntu 23.04 is also a production-ready operating system, offering a set of apps out of the box, that will enable you to be productive right after the installation. Speaking of which, Ubuntu 23.04 comes with a completely new modern installer. The new GNOME 44 features are in Ubuntu 23.04.2, so the quick menu is basically the same as in Fedora 38. The GNOME version is 44 and the kernel is also from the 6.2 series. The system is polished and coherent, and while testing it in the virtual machine, we hadn't noticed any inconsistencies. Ubuntu 23.04, codenamed Lunar Lobster, also offers a new set of desktop backgrounds and already familiar customization options. In Ubuntu, users can modify the Ubuntu dock too. Ubuntu 23.04 offers 
the latest versions of the installed applications. For example, LibreOffice is version 7.5.2.2, as is in Fedora. Ubuntu Software App offers applications as the native ones from the official repositories and the ones from Ubuntu's own Snap platform, which users have been very critical of due to the slow start of the apps installed as Snaps. Unlike Fedora, Ubuntu 23.04 handles updates via a specific Ubuntu updater application, so in reality, users basically need to track down the updates in two apps, in Ubuntu software and in Ubuntu updater. All in all, we've had an excellent experience with Ubuntu 23.04, which was snappy and smooth. Although it was a testing setup in the virtual box, the start of the applications wasn't slow. Our overall assessment of both Fedora 38 and Ubuntu 23.04 is very positive. If these two operating systems were installed for completely new users, we are sure they would easily handle them right from the start. What's your opinion on Fedora 38 and Ubuntu 23.04? Do you find them to be as good as we do? Tell us in the comment section below the video. Thank you for watching. Please share the video, like it and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.